Hello everyone welcome to Amazon complete chemistry today before starting anything i would like to share one thing uh, whenever you start preparing for any of the entrance exams like iit jam net or gate or any other exam for that matter the first and foremost thing that is you have to be positive all the time and you need to trust yourself and then when you will work hard you will definitely do better in the exams so let us start our today's video with this good note so in our today's lecture we will solve some of the previous year questions of iit jam exam and gate exam so this is the exam uh, pull from jam 2018 question uh, the number of compounds having s configuration among the following is so this is a nat type of question that is numerical answer type where you don't get options but you have to solve the question and put a number that is 1 2 3 or even decimals so here you have been given uh, five options uh, that is five different structures and you have to assign r and s nomenclature for each one of them and find out how many structures will have s configuration so you can pause the video and try it out by yourself i am giving the solution in the next slide let us see the solution so here in the first question you can see that this is a chiral carbon which is attached to four primary atoms that is carbon carbon bromine and hydrogen first priority goes to bromine as it has highest atomic number then in between the this carbon and this carbon this carbon gets a second priority as it is attached to hydrogen hydrogen carbon as a secondary atom and this carbon is attached to three hydrogens since carbon is having higher atomic number than hydrogen this will get second priority and this will get a third priority and the fourth priority goes to the hydrogen on moving from 1 to 2 to 3 it is anti clockwise and the fourth fourth group is on the dash bond so the absolute configuration for this molecule is s so let us see the second molecule where uh again i have assigned priority to oxygen these two carbons and the hydrogen oxygen gets the first priority this carbon has this this carbon has the secondary atoms as hydrogen hydrogen and carbon this carbon has three hydrogens here carbon has more atomic number and then hydrogen so from 1 to 2 to 3 it is anti clockwise but the fourth priority group is on the horizontal or the wedge bond so the absolute configuration for this molecule is r and not s so this is the third example it is uh, a lean molecule now as we had discussed in our last lecture how to assign rs nomenclature for alenes first step is to uh, put the wedge bond on the vertical above then the dash bond on the vertical below and then we have to take the rotate the molecule in such a way that the wedge dash uh, carbon comes below and uh, accordingly we put hydrogen and methyl accordingly the groups in the left bond as well as the right bond so the first two priority goes to the vertical bonds that is uh, the groups methyl and hydrogen methyl gets the highest priority then hydrogen so this gets number 1 this gets number 2 then we number the groups that are on the horizontal bond methyl gets the third priority and the hydrogen gets the fourth priority so accordingly from 1 to 2 to 3 1 to 2 to 3 it is anti clockwise and the configuration is s remember this is not fischer projection formula so that rule is not applicable that the fourth priority group is on the wedge and then you have to change this is very very important that the configuration will be 1 2 2 2 3 2, anti clockwise that is s uh, let us see this molecule again the primary atoms are carbon 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 and hydrogen since the hydrogen is least atomic number it gets the priority number 4 in between this other three carbons let us see the secondary atoms that are attached to each one of them this carbon is attached to three nitrogens this carbon is attached to two hydrogen and one nitrogen this carbon is attached to three hydrogens here the nitrogen is having higher priority so this will get first priority here there are only 
two hydrogen and one nitrogen so this will get second here there are three hydrogens so this will get third priority so from one to two to three it is clockwise but the fourth priority group is on the wedge so we change the configuration from r to s let us see the last molecule uh, in this you can see this is a chiral carbon which is attached to four different groups this is hydrogen and this is methyl group and when you see the primary carbon atoms these two carbon atoms are same so we move on to the tertiary atoms here you can see the tertiary atoms are different here you can see the here you can see the tertiary atom here uh, it is attached to two carbon and one hydrogen and this carbon is attached to two hydrogens and one carbon so accordingly this will get the first priority this will get the second priority this carbon gets a third priority as it is attached to three hydrogens and this hydrogen gets the fourth priority so from one to two to three it is clockwise but the fourth priority group is on the wedge bond so the absolute configuration is s so accordingly you can see this molecule has s configuration this has S, S, S. So four molecules has S configuration. So the correct NAT value or the numerical value is four. Now this is another question which I picked up from JAM 2011 paper. The CIP priorities for the groups and the absolute configuration RS of the following compound R. CIP is nothing but the uh, other uh, name for RS nomenclature. These are the people or the name of the scientists that Kahn, Engold and Prilog who gave this RS nomenclature. So here this molecule is given to you. You have to do the same activity, assign priorities and find out the absolute configuration. You can pause the video and try out by yourself. Let us see the solution. So here you can see that this is a chiral carbon which is attached to four different groups that is carbon, carbon, carbon and carbon so all the four primary atoms are same then uh, let us see the secondary atoms here you can see the secondary atom for this carbon is two hydrogen and one oxygen for this it is two carbon and one hydrogen for this it is three hydrogens and for uh, this it is carbon, carbon, hydrogen since here this is oxygen which is having the higher atomic number this will get the first priority let us see this carbon and this carbon you can see that the secondary atoms are also same that is CCH and uh, this ca carbon is also attached to two carbon and one hydrogen so we move on to the tertiary atoms that is this carbon is attached to which other carbon this carbon this carbon is again attached to two phantom carbons and two hydrogens so carbon hydrogen hydrogen and then this carbon is attached to three hydrogens so this is a beautiful example where the primary atoms are the same but the secondary atoms are also same and then we look at the tertiary atoms so in between this carbon and this carbon this will get the second priority this will get the third priority and here there are three hydrogens to this carbon so this will get the fourth priority so from one to two to three it is clockwise but also note that the fourth priority group is on the wedge bond so the configuration changes from r to s so the correct answer for this question is option b you can see here option b is the correct answer this is the correct priority order and the correct absolute configuration is s this is again uh, a question which I picked up from gate examination from the year 2015. Again, you can see this molecule. Uh, again, we do the numbering. The carboxylic acid being topmost in the IUPAC series get number 1, 2, 3, 4. And you have to find out the absolute configuration at carbon 2 and carbon 3. Try it out by yourself using the same rules and uh, then we will see the solution let us see the solution so let us see this carbon is attached to four different groups here carbon hydrogen bromine and carbon since bromine has got the highest atomic number it gets the first priority and hydrogen gets the least priority comparing between this carbon and this carbon you can see that this carbon is attached to two oxygen and one oxygen that is three oxygen groups 
here this carbon is attached to hydrogen oxygen and carbon since oxygen is higher priority uh, in uh, atomic number so this will get the second priority and this carbon gets the third priority so from moving from 1 to 2 to 3 it is anti clockwise but the fourth priority group that is hydrogen is on the wedge bond so the priority changes from s to r so this is 2r now let us see this carbon that is the third carbon it is attached to hydrogen hydroxyl group that is OH methyl and this carbon you can see the oxygen has got the highest atomic number so this gets the first priority hydrogen gets the least priority comparing between this carbon and this carbon this carbon is attached to bromine hydrogen and carbon since the bromine is higher at in atomic number this will get the second priority this will get the third priority as it is attached to three hydrogens and then the last priority goes to hydrogen so from one to two to three it is clockwise and the fourth priority group is on the dash bond so the configuration is r so the correct option for this is d so the another question from gate 2003 paper the absolute configuration of the two chiral centers in the following molecule are so this is the molecule given to you again we number first priority goes to carboxylic acid 2 3 and 4 so you have to again do the same exercise uh, find out the absolute configuration at carbon number 2 and carbon number 3 you can try out by yourself we will see the solution later you can pause the video let us see the solution so here you can see this is the carbon number 2 this is carbon number 3 this carbon is attached to four different groups here you have carbon bromine carbon hydrogen bromine has highest atomic number so it gets the first priority comparing this carbon and this carbon this carbon is attached to three oxygens whereas this carbon is attached to one carbon oxygen and hydrogen so this will get the second priority accordingly this will get third this will get fourth so from one to two to three it is anti-clockwise but the fourth priority group is on the horizontal or the wedge bond so the configuration changes from S to R now let us see the third carbon it is attached to carbon oxygen carbon and hydrogen oxygen gets the first priority as it is higher in atomic number and then let us see this carbon and this carbon this carbon is attached to three nitrogens you can call them as three phantom atoms whereas this carbon is attached to carbon bromine and hydrogen although here there are three nitrogens this will not get the priority but this will get as bromine is the boss here you bromine has got the higher atomic number so bro this carbon will get the second priority so from one to two to three it is clockwise but again the fourth priority group is on the horizontal or the wedge bond so the configuration changes from r to s so the correct answer is 2r 3s that is option number a so here we come to the end of